Welcome to A Dude's Nerdery and Episode 2 of Taking Pictures. The Imperial Hover Tank Driver and Shore Trooper were gloriously re-released on the Lucasfilm 50th Archive cards. Instead of reviewing these heavily reviewed figures, I'll share my toy photo setup, pose the figures, and we can create various shots of them. Let's liberate these troopers and take some pictures. I have two LED lights from Amazon. They have three different white light modes as well as an RGB mode and they are dimmable. We'll finish it off with four LED puck lights that have RGB capability that I use to light the top of the diorama as well as for backlight behind it. Yeah, dude, these are awesome. Oh man, they're just two really well-made solid figures. Just looking at them, you could tell they're the exact same body and mold with some subtle differences. Easiest to point out are just the color of the armor as well as the pants. Uh, the short trooper has a slight skirt and pans flute. I do appreciate that they both have a really nice gritty wash going through them. Just adds another really cool level of realism. So the shoulder come all the way out, 360 rotate, double pin knee. I love that both heads get a lot of head tilt. Look at that. You can look up pretty nicely, looks down. But again, for a stormtrooper, you know, even if you have it stoically posed, kind of turn them to the side and then just give a little bit of head tilt. <laughs> That's awesome. They also have the same blasters. First shot I want to take is just a straight up white light shot, not even doing anything uh, super interesting, just kind of like a nice standing pose and maybe just look to the side with the head tilted. Kind of like a, almost like a move along pose. I'm going to attach his right hand to the blaster. Let's see if I can get a good angle on that. Looking at you and uh, the gun is not quite raised at you, but it could be pretty quickly. One of them together under the white light. Again, stoic pose, kind of like they're looking at you saying, move along, move along. I'm gonna shoot it from the down angle up and then I'll try it from uh, up angle down just to see if there's uh, any difference to the shot. All right, so now let's mess with the LED puck lights that provide the backlight as well as the light up top. So here's my remote for the puck lights. Red, green, blue. They do look pretty cool in the red. I can even uh, change it to like orange, yellows. Let me know in the comments below what color you like to photograph your stormtroopers in. I wanna take this stormtrooper and make him like one arm shooting. Tilt his head a little, just like he's looking down a scope. He's so solid, he moves really well. I mean, look how easy that was to get him set up like that. Kind of like he's in motion. All right, let's take the shore trooper. I want him to hold the barrel. I don't want the red for the shore trooper because he's on the shore. Yeah, let's get some, maybe a light blue. We could do like a real light blue. Ooh, I kind of like that, let's try that. Double fisting the gun. Let's see if I can get him look like this. Let's see, what is this? Ooh, how can I get that? Oh, wow, dude, that looks like he's looking right through the sight. All right, I'm gonna aim it like that, and let's see if I can get a cool picture of it. All right, last two pictures. I wanna get one of them together in an action shot like this, and then I'm gonna shoot the cover photo for this video. Thank you so much for watching this second and still very experimental episode of Taking Photos. Thank the toy gods for these archive releases. I am so grateful to have them, man. They're such cool figures. Bonus points for the packaging not making me feel the need to keep them in card. I really enjoyed taking pics of both of these figures. They are easy to articulate and balance extremely well, like neither of them toppled over once. Both hold their blasters well and give you multiple options for posing. Let me know in the comments below if you favor one or the other. I'm really excited to have added both these to the nerdery. I can't decide which one I like better. Let me know in the comments below which one is your favorite. Thanks again for hanging out in the nerdery while I was taking pictures. Please like and subscribe to join the noble quest of building this action figure collection. See you real soon.